Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with some uh, energy, uh, AP Physics energy related questions. So let's take a look at this one. Now, a lot of times with these questions, it's energy, but it's also a lot of um, either momentum or force. And I don't know if you guys are may or may not have covered momentum. Everyone does curriculum differently, but I encourage you to pause the video, uh, try to do as much as you can on this, and uh, wherever you're stuck, or after you finish it, come back and keep watching the video and see how it compares. So I have a 4,700 kilogram truck carrying a 900 kilogram crate traveling at 25 meters per second to the right along a straight level highway shown above. The truck driver then applies the brakes and slows down. The truck travels 55 meters in the next three seconds and the crate does not slide on the back of the truck. Calculate the magnitude acceleration of the truck, assuming it is constant. Okay, so this is a kinematics question really, uh, the first part. Because the first part is about um, what's the acceleration. Because it's going 25 meters per second, and then it has a constant. Assuming yeah, assuming it has a constant acceleration. So I have delta x is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared. Um, but I don't actually know what they've given me is sort of the initial velocity, right? 25 meters per second. Um, but they didn't give me the time, so I'm actually going to use a different equation. I'm going to use this equation, vf squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta x. Because it gave you delta x here. The distance it traveled is 55 meters. Oh, actually, they did told you in the three seconds. Actually, never mind. My bad. They told you three seconds. So, actually, it goes from 25 meters per second to 0 meters per second in 3 seconds. So, actually, the magnitude acceleration is pretty easy. A is equal to the change in velocity over time. And since they told you the time, um, it's 0 minus 25 meters per second divided by 3 seconds. And so, it would be negative 8.33 meters per second, something like that. Okay. On the diagram below, draw and label all the forces acting on the crate during the braking. Okay, during the braking, um, it has a mg, force of gravity, as a normal force. And the only force that uh, could be causing it to not slide um, is friction. So it's a frictional force. Calculate the minimum friction. Coefficient of friction between the crate and the truck to prevent the crate from sliding. Well, what I needed is the force of friction um, to equal like the ma, right? So the force of friction going to the left has to equal m. Which way is the acceleration going? It's also going to the left with the same acceleration that the truck is accelerating, negative 8.33. So the force of friction had to be um, 900 kilograms times negative 8.33 meters per second and that is 7500 newtons okay now this force of friction the maximum it could be is equal to mu static friction times the normal force okay this is the maximum that it can be for static friction um, and it's static friction because it's actually not sliding with respect to the, the bottom. Even though it is moving, the block is total, moving in total, it's not moving relative to the surface. So it's actually static friction. So mu s would be 7,500 newtons over the normal force. The normal force um, is equal to mg from this free body diagram because the acceleration is not in the vertical direction is zero. So that means the normal force has to equal mg. So that's 7,500 over mg, which is 900 kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared. And if I calculate that, I get um, 900 by 0.85. Okay, so 0.85, and this is static friction, because again, it's not sliding with respect to this. The the thing. Now assume the bed of the truck is frictionless, and there's a spring constant of 9,200 newtons per meter attached to the crate of the truck as shown below. The truck is initially at rest. If the truck and crate have the same acceleration, calculate the extension of the spring as the truck accelerates from rest to 25 meters per second in 10 seconds. 
Okay, so it's accelerating. Now the free body diagram of the crate is this. It has force of gravity going down. It's a normal force. Now we assume it's frictionless, so there's actually no friction. The only thing it has in this direction is the spring. It has the only thing pulling on it is the spring. Okay. Now the net force on this has to be the spring force has to equal it's the it's the only net force horizontally, and that has to equal m a. Okay. Now, what is M and what is A? M is the mass of this crate, because that's what we did the free body diagram on. right? It's the mass of the object of the free body diagram. So that is 900 kilograms. What is A? I need to figure out what the acceleration is. Well, they told me it accelerates from rest to 25 meters per second in 10 seconds. So it's A is 25 meters per second over 10 seconds. So that would be 2.5 meters per second squared. I get 2250 newtons. Now that's the spring, that's the force of the spring, but they're actually asking me to calculate the extension of the spring. Um, and so we know that uh, that equals k delta x, so delta x equals 2250 newtons divided by k. k is the spring constant, which is 9200 newtons per meter. So this will be in units of meters, so 2250 divided by 9200. The spring extension would be 0.245 meters. At some time later, the truck is moving at constant speed of 25 meters per second and the crate is in equilibrium. Indicate whether the extension of the spring is greater than, less than, or the same in part D when the truck was accelerating. I find this interesting. This is categorized as an energy question, but I haven't used any energy concepts in this one. So maybe I'll reclassify this video. But, um, So if it's at a constant speed, see the spring force would have to be zero because this would be not subject to any acceleration, right? So the extension spring is less because A equals zero on the crate. Is there any part of this you could have done as energy? Not really, no. This is mostly um, springs question, so. Um, okay, I hope you guys found that helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content, and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.